Hello everyone, this is Sister Moon, and today we're going to do a tutorial on the four-wheel pose. So get ready, get set, and let's learn the four-wheel pose. All right. Yay, Sister Moon four-wheel pose tutorial. So the first thing we want to do in a four-wheel pose is bend our legs. Simply checking in with our bodies and taking our hands and bring them to the back. So you have your hands flat on the mat. You want to lift your hands up, slightly bend them towards your shoulders, and let your hands fall flat on the floor near your shoulders. Your fingertips will be facing your shoulders, and you want to see how that feels in your body. Maybe we want to take our feet and push our feet flat on the floor, using our feet to push our buttocks in the air. Kind of squeeze in the glutes. This is a nice, good exercise to prep your body for the full wheel pose. And at the same time, it is lifting and strengthening your glutes. So that's a two in one right there. Another thing that we can do is we can do a bridge pose. A bridge pose is similar to a full wheel pose, but it's very small. A bridge pose is where you take your feet flat on the floor and you lift your body up and you put your hands underneath your back. That is a bridge pose. Now, there is another bridge pose that we can do, and that's when you're placing your feet again flat on the mat. You're coming up, using your buttocks again to come up. So lifting your buttocks off the floor and taking your shoulders and walking your shoulders inward, walking your shoulder blades inward towards your spinal cord. See that there? So now we are higher up on our backs. See that there? We can go down. We're higher up on our backs because we walked our shoulder blades towards our spinal cord. Now we're gonna take our hands and interlace our hands and come in even higher. See that there? Now we are completely up on our back. This is called a bridge pose. This is a nice prep before doing the full wheel pose because a full wheel pose is a complete back bend. Now you wanna do these preps prior to to make sure that you are not injuring yourself in a full wheel pose. Another technique we can do prior to the full wheel pose is a fish pose, which is a slight back bend. A fish pose is when you take your body, your feet is, your whole body is laid out in Savasana. So we're laying here in Savasana, then we're going to slightly bend our knees. We're using our elbows to lift us up like that. Then we want to slightly be on our head, the top of our head, and we want to lay in fish pose. And as you can see, there's a slight back bend here. As you can see there, there's a slight back bend there. If you can see that, this is fish pose. And you simply just lay your hands on the floor and let your shoulders fall. See that there? Letting your shoulders fall and relax. You can even bend your knees in fish pose. Placing your palms in front of you. This is called the flying fish. But as you can see, one of the points for this fish pose that I'm showing you now is to prep your body for the full wheel pose. All right, once we bring them up, we're gonna slowly start bending our hands. See that there? Slightly bending your hands, that way they're going towards your shoulders. And then they're going to be flat on the floor. Fingertips are actually touching your shoulders. See that there? Making sure you have your feet nice and flat on the floor and making sure that they do not feel slippery. Taking your body, one, two, three, up. If that feels good, let's go all the way up. One, two, three, up. Up in the air. Once you get in the air, position your feet that way that you are nice and flat. Your feet should be, see that there? My feet is solid on the floor. So your feet should be nice and flat on the floor. And you should be able to just dangle your head and be up in a full, being up in a full wheel pose. And if you wanna, you can take your feet, come up on your leg, see that there? You can put it back down. You can take your other feet, come up on your leg. See that there? Or you can come up on your tippy toes and just lean back and relax. Then coming down on your head again. Arms out if you choose. Arms between your back if you choose. We're just having fun in our wheel pose. Arms to the side. We can bring our hands together in front of us. Do a slight praying pose. <sighs> Making sure you breathe. <sighs> nice deep breaths whenever you can. All right, that's fish pose, slight fish pose. And then coming down for me, I like to bring my elbows down to the floor. Again, this is the fish pose effect. I like to hold here. <sighs> 
Just checking in with my body. I'm hooking my head, coming down on my shoulders, knees to my chest, <sighs> squeezing myself and thanking myself for allowing me to practice that pose. And also I'm hugging myself to make sure I don't feel any injuries to my spinal cord. Then I'm gonna come on down nice and easy. <sighs> Breathing in. <sighs> Breathing out, nice deep juicy breaths. And I'm gonna relax in Savasana. Just to catch my breath before I move on to my next pose. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed, it was a pleasure. Again, I wanna thank the YouTube subscriber who asked me to do a tutorial on a full wheel pose. This was truly a pleasure, so I thank you for, re for requesting that. Thank you so much, and I will stay to you, and I hope you enjoy. Anything else you need, please just let me know, and I will be happy, very happy to assist. Namaste. This is Sister Moon with Sister Moon Yoga Services. Namaste.